So today I'm just going to use the PolyFX tool to uh, explode some text and it's basically one way of uh, exploding text without using any particle systems or anything. So I'm just going to create my uh, MoGraph text and then um, I'm just going to go to object and type quick VFX. I'm just going to give it some more depth and I'm going to change the font to a uh, I've got the Terminator font, which is quite cool. And caps, I'm just going to add maybe a fillet cap. And I want the fillet type, maybe something a bit more interesting. Oh, circle, say one step. I'm just going to reduce the radi radius down for that fillet cap. And where it says type, I'm going to choose quadrangles and I'm going to apply a regular grid. I don't want it too small. Go back to object, I'm going to add some subdivisions. And also where it says intermediate points, I'm going to choose subdivided. So uh, it's kind of got even segments on all the uh, dimensions. It's roughly kind of even. And then um, I'm just going to render that quickly. I'm just going to add in a floor. And then um, just have a look in the side view. I'm going to drop that slightly below. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to apply the MoGraph PolyFX tool. And PolyFX doesn't work unless you give it an effector. So I'm just going to give it a random effector to start with. I'm just going to check that it's been applied. Yep. And I'm going to place PolyFX underneath mole text, make it a child like this. And now the effect is working. I'm gonna to go to poly effects fall off and I'm gonna give it linear. I'm gonna rotate the linear 90 degrees. And now we can basically control the explosion like this. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna keyframe it quickly. Just put a keyframe on X here. One further down the line there. I'm just going to play it back. So right now it's quite static, it doesn't look like much. And I'm just going to move this floor. I'm just going to hide the floor from the viewport. Okay. Uh, in random you can obviously uh, tweak the settings slightly so I think I might go for more Y, Z, add some rotation, so they're not so, uh, segments seem a bit small, but the great thing with this is, is you can keep adjusting the text because it hasn't been, uh, collapsed. It's just a multi text object. So we can, uh, remove the subdivisions, uh, caps, let me see, right. That looks a bit better to me. Looks kind of more. Uh, random, I'm going to adjust the fall off. The fall off is a bit sharp. And actually, sorry, you do it through poly effects. So I'm just going to soften that fall off a bit. So it kind of breaks, breaks up a bit kind of more uh, gradually. And uh, you can choose a spline function. Inverse square looks a bit better to me makes it a bit more gradual. You can kind of see the shapes, uh, letters sh shatter or like kind of resist slightly. Now this is good but we might want to animate this and we're going to use a little known uh, effector which is a time effector and I'm going to add that into my poly effects. If you go to poly effects and effectors I'm going to add the time effector at the end there and I'm going to give it some rotation, but not too much. I'm actually more interested in a position here. Might start off with a 12, 12, 12, maybe less for Y. And I'm just going to play this back now with my time effector. And we've got, what we've got is, is a, um, it's a cool animated effect now. And I might reduce the random strength. So it's basically a kind of 
balance balance an act between random and the time effector now and we can get some really good results um, let me see so while this plays we can tweak it on the fly while the animation is actually playing which is really cool it's something uh, unique to Cinema 4D I think maybe Modo kind of does that as well but it's just really useful be being able to apply settings while the animation plays uh, random can mess with scale maybe whilst um, sometimes playing with the min max kind of can produce some interesting results So I'm actually quite happy with that. And might rotate. Let's just make bank. Yeah, I think I want it to rotate kind of lengthwise. So let me see. That's interesting. Not sure if it's the correct rotation. Let's try this H heading. That's quite cool. Just might add a subdivision in there. So there you go, I mean that's a quick kind of way of exploding text.